Okay, in today's video, we're going to explore the search function in QuickBooks Online. And by search function, I'm referring to this box in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And this search function, I think most people ignore it, but it can actually be a huge time saver if you know how to use it properly. So just to demonstrate how it works, I'm going to take this transaction. We're in the banking feeds now. Um, the payee is Bank of America. The category is um, bank charges. That's the expense category. And the amount is $8. And I'm going to accept it so that we know this transaction is in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so if I click on this magnifying glass, what's going to happen is it's going to bring this list of all the most recent transactions. So if you want to navigate to um, a most recent transaction, for instance, if you're on any screen in QuickBooks Online, you've made an error in entering the transaction and you know that you want to modify it, rather than going through various screens trying to find the transaction, all you have to do is click on that magnifying glass and then click on the appropriate transaction and it'll bring you to a screen where you can modify it. Also, we have this advanced search function down here, which is very powerful. So I'm going to illustrate this in just a second, but I'll show you what happens if we just type in um, Bank of America. We know there's a Bank of America transaction. So we would expect QuickBooks Online to find it. Okay, so it did not find it. And as you can see, it automatically defaulted to expenses and um, it's searching for account contains Bank of America. Bank of America is um, a payee, it's a vendor, it's not an account. So what this illustrates is the search function is very dependent on the criteria you choose. So we have all these different um, transactions that we can search. And then we also have a drop down that can search by amount, um, clients, payee, etc. So if I change this to payee, and I type in Bank of America, it finds it. And then I can also change this to amount and search by the transaction amount, $8. So if you know there's a transaction in QuickBooks Online, uh, for instance, you know the, the amount, you're looking at the receipt, and you need to find it in QuickBooks Online, the best way to find it is actually to use this advanced search function rather than go through um, you know, through this expenses screen, go through vendors and searching. It's much quicker if we just go to this advanced search function. For instance, now if I'll demonstrate, I'll type in amount, $8. It finds a transaction very quickly. It's much quicker than navigating through the screens if you're using these filters properly. And as you can see there, you can also add um, additional filters. So I hope this is going to help you save a little bit of time in QuickBooks Online. Thanks.